Being motivated comes from knowing what you do and why you want to do it. I, I know why I want to coach. I know my purpose behind it. I, I want to be able to you know, influence kids and be an impact on their life. The time you spend in the gym, the time you spend out on the recruiting trail, uh, some, some of those days get hard, some of those days get long and you get tired a little bit. But I think when you get tired, you just think about winning. You think about building something special. And then also, you know, something that's motivational is when Coach Miles, a guy who's won everywhere he's been, a guy who's building a great program here, when he has the belief and trust in you to hire you and to give you the responsibility that he does, you don't want to let a guy down like that. Bill is gifted in his ability for workouts. He's very thorough and diligent in his recruiting, and uh, and I think he's helped us space the floor better, uh, and 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 he's starting to understand me too, uh, where I like movement, he likes space, and we're we're kind of coming to common grounds on all of that. Uh, but I, I think we we work well together, and when you talk about fit, I think uh, uh, Phil Beckner's a great fit for Nebraska basketball. We have to go to the heart of the mat. We're like trying to stop the guy. Next guy down there. You know we're trying to get a stop, right? Not go through the motion. When they show up every day and they look you in your eye and they're trusting you to make them better, they're trusting you to help them become better people and you know and better players, you don't want to let them down. If you're demanding every day that they show up and bring it, I think you have to show up and bring it. We really need to shoot some shots with a hand up late on our guys. Okay. We don't shoot many shots. Yeah, we haven't shot anything. Yeah, and we, and, and we miss a lot of those. You, you run whatever you want, I want you to go man. Yeah. If they switch, they switch. Whatever they do, just do what so they we're do. we're guarding you guys right now? We're going up and down. Okay. Right. Yep, we're going to go up and down. Coach Miles, you know, he gives his assistants a lot of responsibility, a lot of uh, a task to do every day. And because of that, we're, we're all highly involved in recruiting. Uh, some of the things I do here, I think more, you know, the recruiting side of it, but also the player development side, working with our guys before and after practice, individually trying to help them get better, sharpen some strengths, and, you know, improve some weaknesses as well. Phil is a guy about individual workouts, about extra shots. And so, you know, we just came to the conclusion to, to kind of adopt the NBA model of, you know, they do like 2,000 makes a week, and I think we're between 1,000 and 1,500 where we're making our guys count their makes. And we've certainly improved our three point percentage, and uh, we're only going to enhance that ability. Uh, one, because of Phil's work ethic, mentality, and commitment. In fact, he's single. And, uh, and he has plenty of time on his hands to, uh, to work with the guys. I think we've developed a, uh, we've started to develop a culture of extra work of guys really trying to get in the gym before and after practice on their own time. And, w and whenever you have guys doing that, they, they, they improve. It's just a fact. And uh, the time we've spent with them, not, not only myself, but the other coaches, Coach Hunter and Coach Molinari, have done a great job spending time with these guys, really working with them, both as people and as players on and off the court. And, and we're starting to reap the benefits because of that. Guys are playing better, whether it's their shooting percentage that's improved, their handle that's improved. I, I think we're seeing guys get better and be more confident players because of that. Benny, he's got White, the lob, and the jump! Oh, my goodness! We obviously want to finish this season up very, very strong. We have a couple seniors, Benny Parker and Siobhan Shields, who've you know just given their blood, sweat, and tears to this program for the last four years. We have some young guys who've dove in with both feet and have really been invested in trying to get better this year. And at the end of the day, uh, we just want to play to our identity, what we're trying to build um, you know, for Husker basketball day in, day out, whether it's at Penn State or in the Big Ten tournament. We want to make a nice run, but we want to finish up strong and play to our identity day in, day out.